Hi everybody, my name's Liz and I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber and you've watched some of my previous videos. Um, so today I thought I'd bring you a roundup of the first week of Me Made May and what my outfits have looked like. Um, in my last video I said that I would do the hashtag Show Us Your Stash 2020 which was started by um, Pocket or Two and Kittenish Behaviour. But I looked at some of the questions and I feel like I need a bit more time to have a little think really. A couple of tricky questions that I want to make sure that I answer um, sort of reflectively. There's one question particularly I think is it precious fabric or one that you're too scared to sew and I want to have a little think. So instead I'm bringing you a roundup of what I wore for the first week of Me Made May. So if you've watched my previous videos you'll know that my pledge was to wear Me Made every day but to play around with colour. I do love colour, I love print, I love things that are bright and bold hence what I'm wearing at the moment but um, quite often when I've made something I want to wear it to death and I'll just wear it and wear it and wear it. Um, and then my other me maids don't really get a look in until I remember that I've got those or I make something else and then I want to wear that and yeah. So in a bid to sort of encourage myself to go back to some older makes um, and just have a little bit of fun with me made me as well, um, I thought I'd play around with colour. So every day I pick a colour of the rainbow across the week um, and I try and wear something from my wardrobe that's me made that fits in that colour. Um, and I managed to do it for a whole week, which I'm really excited about. And next week I've already got outfits lined up. Um, and it's made me really think actually that I do love colour, I do love print, and I also do have quite a, quite a range of the colours of the rainbow in my wardrobe. Um, yeah, I'll talk more at the end about my reflections on my first week of Me Made May, but I'll start with what I'm wearing. So this is day seven, and it is the Deer and Doe My Sotis dress. Um, using this wonderful fabric. I'll get closer just so you can see, it's incredible. It's fabric from Sew Me Sunshine. Um, yeah, and I absolutely love this dress. I'll put proper photos in so that you can see. I wore it today with my jelly shoes. Um, and at first I did think, oh, is it a bit too bright? I'm only going to school. Um, but then I thought, nah. It's a lovely sunny day. Um, I'm sure the children would be really cheered up if they saw a really lovely, fun, bright, summery dress. So I wore it and actually I felt fab in it. Um, it is, um, so it's got the ruffles. I lengthened the bodice. So the bodice normally stops about here. I lengthened it by a good couple of inches. Added waist ties. If I stand on the chair, it's got the ruffle at the bottom and I played around with the stripes. Yep. Yeah. And I really love it. Oh, and it's got pockets, which I absolutely love. And this was for pink for day seven. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and start with what I wore on the first day of Me Made May. And for that one, I picked red. And when I was first thinking about red, I thought, oh, I'm not sure I've actually got a huge amount of red in my wardrobe. Actually, it turns out I've got quite a few things that are red. Um, and this is an indigo dress. No surprises there because I love a dress. Um, this is the Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress and I made uh, this version and it's got the exposed ruffle and it's also got the um, frill um, seams and the flounce on the sleeves and it's in this gorgeous gingham that I got from Like So Amazing um, and I'll put proper pictures in of me wearing it but actually when I photograph when I had pictures taken in this it's quite difficult to photograph the fabric. Um, but it's a really, really cute daisy gingham. Um, and yeah, I love this. Now, when I first made this, this is made in a cotton. Um, it did feel not tight, but there wasn't a huge amount of movement here. Um, and I was umming and ahhing about whether I should give it away to somebody. But actually, I kept hold of it, and I'm really glad I've kept hold of it. Because over time, it's actually it's not baggy, but it there's a bit more give in the fabric. So I think the more I wear it, the more give I'll get in the fabric. So I loved wearing that, absolutely loved wearing it. And of course, it's got pockets as well, which I absolutely love. So that was for, for day one, red. And then I moved on to day two, which is orange. And I, again, I thought, I've had got much orange. I've got a lot of rust colored things, but I wasn't quite sure about orange. But then I remembered I made the flint trousers. Uh, Megan Nielsen pattern. Have I got the pattern here? Yes. The flint trousers. And um, the lovely Kath from Kath Craft. She's got a YouTube channel. I'll link down below. She's made the shorts version and she really inspired me to get the pattern. This is what the trousers look like. So they're cropped. 
you can make the shorts or you can make like the cut style and they're really wide legs and then they've got either the button fastening or they've got the tie fastening and I opted for the tie fastening so I'll hold them up so you can see but I'll insert photos of me wearing them properly but I love them and I've got the lovely tie detail there and um, this is made using fabric from a So Hayley Jane box and it's a linen fabric which I absolutely love and then I wore that with a plain white t-shirt I do have some plain things in my wardrobe so here's the t-shirt it's just a plain white it's a bit creased because it's just come out of the wash um, and it's a free pattern um, French navy I've got everything written down so I don't forget French navy Stellan tee one thing I will say, it's free, which is great. It's quite a boxy t-shirt, and you'll see on the picture that I insert. Um, and it c comes up quite big. Um, the lovely Joy from Pink Coat Club, when I said I was going to make the Stellan tee, she sent me a message on Instagram just to say, just warning you, it comes up quite big. Um, so I did a 12 first, and I actually sized down, because it does come up really baggy. So if you are going to make it, just be mindful that it comes up really baggy. Um, so that was for day two for orange. Um, day three was yellow and I wore uh, a freshly finished Tabitha t-shirt in a yellow leopard print in this gorgeous fabric um, from Material Girl Laura and the Tabitha t-shirt dress is in Tilly's Make It Simple book and it's this one, there's Purple Sewing Cloud looking fab. Uh, I love the Tab Tabitha t-shirt dress, there's the line drawings. It's really comfortable, um, you can let it out a little bit if you need to throughout the day because it's got the drawstring which sort of cinches it in, um, in the middle. Um, I did the short sleeves because I'd like to be able to wear this when we get some lovely warm weather and I just wore it, I think I wore it with my Converse trainers. Um, really love that and I love the fabric, I think it's gorgeous. I said the fabric's from Material Girl Laura, it's not. The fabric was from Higgs and Higgs when I went to the Stitch Festival. Um, so yeah, that was lovely. And I've got quite a lot of yellow in my wardrobe actually. Day four was green. And day four made me dig out an old make. Um, I made this last year in fabric that I got from um, Simi Sunshine. And it's beautiful. Like, almost like leaf, well it is leaf print, palm trees, and uh, not palm trees, just leaves. And what I love about it is it's got some sort of shades of brown and shades of blue, which give it just a pop of colour when you get one of those. Um, and I made the Sew Over It Eve dress, and I'll put pictures in because it's quite difficult to hold this up because of the ties and things. But yeah, just love the sleeve. It's just such a beautiful detail. And I love on this the pleat, oh not pleat, it's got like gathers on the shoulder, which I absolutely love. And that's the Sew Over It. Eve dress and I've got the pattern here just to show you so over Eve dress and I've made loads of these I absolutely adore the pattern it's so lovely and I opted for the short sleeve and I didn't there's an option for a drop like a back hem which is longer and I didn't opt for that I just went for the um, straight yeah and I love the Eve dress I'd forgotten how much I love wearing that dress and actually I've got a red so over Eve dress lined up to wear for day eight tomorrow um, then I wore on day five for blue a boiler suit because it was a bit chilly and this is the Gimlet boiler suit by Our Lady of Leisure Patterns and I'll put all their details down below and again it's made using this fantastic fabric from a So Hayley Jane box, I think it was a retro box, um, it's, oh, it's amazing this fabric, I would never have bought it but it's like um, a denim and then it's reversible check so what you actually get is this lovely effect where it's sort of been torn, where the um, checks come through and it means that on like the sleeves I can turn it up and I've got this lovely checked detail and then the same for the trousers. Um, and this has got, <coughs> excuse me, it's got the collar, it's got faux pockets, they're not actually proper pockets, um, but then you've got these pockets here sort of by the hip and waist. And then it's got the option for a tie. I always put a tie on because I find it just cinches my waist and otherwise I end up being swamped. Um, and this is a great pattern. I absolutely love it. And then I've just got, um, let me show you, jeans buttons on that side. Yeah, which is lovely. And then my buttonholes I was quite proud of on the other side. Uh, so that was for blue. And then day six was probably my favourite thing to wear apart from this dress. And that was... Um, 
indigo. So I sort of said to myself for day six, indigo, purple, that sort of shade. And it was a Zaydi in this absolutely beautiful fabric. I love this fabric um, from Material Girl Laura and I bought this last year. I love the Zaydi. I know some people sort of sit on the fence about jumpsuits and especially the Zaydi, it's sort of you love it or you don't like it. I love it. I think it's such a fun pattern. It's great for all body sizes. I love the pockets. It fits beautifully. Um, you can make it with sort of the off the shoulder sort of dropped sleeve or you can add a bit on so you have longer sleeves. And I just adore this pattern. I've made so many of them. I just think it's fab. Um, so I wore that for indigo. And then of course day seven, I've already talked about it. It is the um, deer and doe. I've got it here. My Sotus. Oh. I'm sure you've seen the paper theory Zadie, but I've got it here just to show you that that's what it looks like. That's without the sleeve being added on. Have I got an option to show you with the sleeve? I think I did this last video. Ah, here it is. The Zadie. So I've gone for this option without adding this extra bit on the sleeve. And I absolutely love it. It's a wrap jumpsuit and I'll put proper pictures in so that you can see what it looks like. And then yeah, day seven is my Dear and Doe My Sotis dress. Uh, in this really fun fabric from Sew Me Sunshine. As soon as I saw this, I knew exactly what I wanted to make with it. I knew it had to be a Deer and Doe Myosotis with all the frills. I just absolutely adore it. So this is the Deer and Doe Myosotis, which is lovely. And I've added this extra tier. Kept it long, added the tier, and added all the frills. And I absolutely love it. And then I've got these yellow buttons just for a bit of extra colour. Um, and this fabric, as soon as I saw it, it just reminds me of... Um, what are those sweets called? Fruit salads. Oh, I love fruit salads. Yeah, just the colours are just like a fruit salad sweetie. Um, yeah, they're probably my favourite sweetie. I've got very sweet tooth. Um, so that was a roundup of my first week of Me Made May. And I'll put a picture in of all of the outfits together so you can see the colours of the rainbow. Um, when I posted pictures yesterday of this jumpsuit, Monica, who is Rocco Sienna on Instagram, she's got a lovely um, Instagram account, go and follow her if you don't already, and I'll put details down below, and Jen from Jen Leg Tees Creatives, I've written her name down so I don't get it wrong, uh, commented and said, I wonder who's got more jumpsuits, you or Jen? So Monica commented. Um, and then I went and checked Jen's Instagram because she's done a highlights of how many jumpsuits she's made. She's made 53. It's amazing. I mean, I love a jumpsuit, but there's no way I've made that many. And they're all beautiful. So go and check out her highlights and have a little look at all the jumpsuits and the variety that she's made because they're really beautiful. So I'm going to go and cook dinner in a minute and I'm going to get changed into my Tiger Lounge suit my tiger lounge wear, should I say, that I know that Emily from Ready Steady Sew has made matching. So we're twinning with our tiger lounge suit. Um, my next video will be the hashtag show us your stash 2020. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things before I go that arrived in the post today. So I was at work today, but when I got home, there was a couple of parcels, which was lovely to come home to. And the first one is from Pink Coat Club. Joy, she's brought out some labels. I haven't opened them yet. Maybe I should so you can see them. But this is the first one, which is Sewing is My Self Care. I'm going to open them so that you can see them. I love labels, and she just brought out a new set. So, yeah, it's Sewing is My Self Care, which I love. And it's like all the symbols that you get inside your garments for washing. And sewing definitely is my self care. It's definitely my downtime and a chance just for me um, to sort of recoup. Recoup, is that the right word? Don't know. Chill out and just recharge, I think is the word I was looking for. And then the next one is all about cake. I love cake. Um, and it says, room for cake. How cute is that? And I had to get these because um, I have a bakery or cakery. I bake from home, I've got a cake business, which is why I'm called The Baker That Sews. So I had to get that room for cake. So thank you, Joy for the lovely labels and thank you for being so speedy with posting it was a lovely treat to come home to and then I have got some beautiful fabric for my eldest daughter so I made my youngest daughter a matching tiger sort of um, joggers and t-shirt set and then my eldest daughter chose this beautiful narwhal fabric how cute is that um, which I know Keely from Voice of Creative has made I think she made the Juno pajamas 
Um, she's got a picture on her grid anyway, go and check her out as well because she makes beautiful things. Um, so yeah, I've got some of this, so I'm going to make her the Made by Jack's Mum joggers and t-shirt for children and she's really excited about, about me making those for her so I'm going to do that at the weekend. And then I've got some denim that has come from Like So Amazing, it's pink which is not a colour that I would normally choose. I've washed it so it's all frayed at the ends but how cute is that? It's such a beautiful colour because I am finally going to be brave and I'm going to make some jeans. So I'm going to make the Mia jeans because I had this pattern anyway and I know that Holly from Hull Stevens on Instagram, again I'll put her details down below, she's made the Mia jeans and she said that they were a really great first pattern for making jeans. So lots of people sent me um, lots of words of encouragement and suggestions like make sure you get top stitching thread, make sure you get top stitching needles, I've got my jeans needles, I've got all the buttons and things that I would need. Um, so I'm ready to go and I'm a little bit nervous but I'm also really excited. So if you've made your own jeans, especially the Mia jeans, let me know how you got on and if you've got any top tips, let me know down below. Um, so yeah, the next vlog that I put up will be about um, fabric and answering those questions. And then I've also got an exciting collaboration coming up with So So Mad, which I can't really talk about at the moment, but we're going to put a video out uh, where we're working on something together and I'm really excited about that. All the people I've mentioned, I'll put their details down below so that you can go and follow them and see what they're getting up to as well. Um, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe already, please make sure that you do so you get a notification for when my next video is out. Hope you all have a lovely evening. Um, take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.